Hey guys, how's it going? Happy Monday. Gonna get right to it with a recap video here. Uh, maybe a few days worth of mail, a couple TTMs, a contest win, and a fat daddy hookup, and one mega mojo, mojo of the year probably through the mail for me. So we'll save that one for last. Save the best for last. And the background today is my shadow box of Mr. Tito Ortiz. Have a glove, official glove that skis helped me with. Got a relic that uh, I think I traded an old guy off of YouTube for that. Ryan, he's not on YouTube anymore. And then um, I got that in a trade um, from somebody who got it from Timmy. So yeah, so that's that. We'll put the mojo back up here. We'll save that for the last. But uh, get to a contest win. Coming from my guy, Sergeant Davis, 237. Congrats to me for the 161 contest win. I uh, think I had three entries into Chris's contest. I did a shout out and I guessed the card on the second preview. And uh, my first guess was Overeem, figuring that it was a favorite guy. I didn't know. The card in the preview was going to be the card given away, so I guess over him on my first without really even thinking about it. And then the second one was pretty obvious. So it was uh, easy to kind of figure out that Chris had broken broken some 2013 knockout, so it was kind of easy to search through the relics and the autos and just to confirm it was indeed uh, Benson. I'm a jerk and I block my followers. Henderson. We'll get to that story another day. I'll save that for another day. Today is a good day because this mojo is, is so mojo rific. Alright, move on to a TTM that came in. This one was pretty nice to get, but again, the PWE monster bit me. Actually, it wasn't the PWE, it was a protection. Whenever you use protection, it seems like something still goes wrong. So, the index cards gobbled up my silver. Here's another one. So, in trying to be helpful, it actually turned out to be a little bit of a curse. I'm going to resend one of these, and hopefully I can get a 20, 2012 Finest from somebody, somebody to hook me up. I'm going to switch hands here. That's what she said. But, a real thoughtful return from Dave Pee Wee Herman. He actually did inscribe Pee Wee, as I asked, and Herman was pretty decent. So, in the right light, they looked great. But, there's a better looking Pee Wee, Dave Pee Wee Herman. So nice to get those. So Dave, thanks for signing those for me, sending them back. But I'm coming back at you with a couple more just to get a nice one in my collage. Um, another TTM that came in. This was a nice one coming back from former UFC champ, not UFC. I meant to say WEC champ. None other than Mike Brown. Mike Brown's a good signer through the mail. I think this card's pretty rad. This guy looks like one of those guys from uh, Mortal Kombat with the four arms or whatever. Check out that card, though. It's pretty cool. And then he inscribed it with, like, a knockout face. Uh, Thug Jitsu. Um, oh, yeah. Whoop, whoop. Thug Jitsu. He signs it with that knockout face, too. So uh, that's pretty cool. And then I got a 2 David on the uh, 2010 knockout. So, Jemo, thanks a lot for these cards. I was going through the, the knockout, not the knockout, the title shot base set, and I saw how cool this card was, so I tapped into JMO to hook me up with some base, because I wanted to TTM that title shot, and then I asked for the 2010, and then Mike Brown also, I did get a new binder, got a new binder for my stuff, my son had gotten one from school that wasn't being used, and uh, Mike Brown actually uh, signed and sent me this WEC promo, or this like event 8x11, but yeah, he tri-folded it to get my number 10 envelope, but still cool for a uh, a binder um, insert, you know, so it'll work out good. Oh, what up, Tommy? little boomer action card. Found that in the junk drawer, boy. I might TTM that, or I might just send it your way just for the fun of it. So that's that, and another thing I found, this is pretty cool, check this out found this. I found some of these. I think my wife bought these for, for coupons. 
So I got I get to put some cards away. I got cards here that I got to be put away. I got that brick right there. I got it has to be put away in a binder and then eventually make its way into a poster frame. So yeah. So that, so that was from Mike Brown. Got that tri-folded uh, event. 8511 has an extra without asking. Mike Brown hooks it up. He's a cool guy. I probably should resend to get a UFC promo again. But now, on to a cool guy. None other than an old pal of mine who sent me some cards as a hookup. Today was Monday. I didn't think I was getting anything. Thought I was getting skunked. Dude hooked it up in a business mailer, window pane mailer, um, right here, check this out, talking about a little uh, YouTube PC, this isn't for the YouTube PC though, this is uh, for my pal Jody, it says, uh, to David, stay incognito, your graphing buddy, and then uh, he signed it down below, 4 of 10, so it must be 10 of these made, this is really cool. I'm actually going to hold on to this as a great keepsake. Jody was one of my first pals when I started graphing like four years ago. He's a fellow uh, sincere Christian, a sincere uh, Bible-believing guy. So we're kind of two peas in a pod that way and uh, just always have stayed in touch over the years. Jody doesn't really, really teach him anymore, but he still is the, the a good in-person grapher. So Jody, this is really cool. I will definitely have this in my collection forever. As a keepsake, because I kind of started in connection with you when we first pulled off that trade for uh, the tap out promo, signed by Mask and the other two guys, Scrape and Punk Ass. And uh, I think at the time I got the uh, Vitor Belfort and the Frank Mir 8x10s from me for that. So that was ages ago. But uh, Jody hit me up on Twitter. He had done some IP graphing and had extra cards, so he knew who just to come to to make an offer, or not to make an offer, but to offer them up to. So I nabbed some that I didn't have yet. So now, with this uh, Goldie moment of truth, I'm now down to needing seven in the collage on that bottom row, as you guys have seen in my previous videos. I'll save that one for last. Sent me over a Jake Shields title shot, signed in blue. Nice for Jake Shields. I had this one before, and it was signed in black, like up here. And I think I gave it away. Just because it was didn't really fit my collection at the time, but nice to have one back. And then the Juggernaut can't go wrong with uh, Jake Ellenberger training out there at Rain with with the guys out there like Munoz and stuff. Got a big fight coming up with Rory. And this one was really really nice to get back. I had sent this TTM to uh, not not to get back, but to get one of these signed in my collection. I sent one of these or two of these off to um, the Pit. Never got it back from. Um, Court McGee, but I did get a 2010 knockout from Court McGee, care of a home address, so he does sign, but he doesn't sign care of the pit elevated where he trains, I don't know what was up with that, so, um, hold on a second, dehumidifier is going off, alright, now we'll go to the mojo, Mojo of all mojos. Coming in a nice, came in the mail today. This is pro, this is a uh, mega, mega future star. Huge, huge mojo. When you guys see this, you'll totally understand. This is like everybody's dream mojo hit right here. Look at this. None other than a first issue rookie card of Joseph Krejcik. He's an infielder on the Cardinals, on the Firebirds. Look at this stud pie. This kid, his batting average is like, he bats a 1,000. Actually, I think he's gotten one out this year, so I think he's batting 899 or 900 probably for roundup. But just a total future star, a great competitor, uh, very fan-friendly, fan, fan loves the people. Real funny guy, and uh, he's my son. <laughs> so yeah, it's the best mojo ever. So uh, we got Joey's playing cards in the mail today, so he's stoked to have his first baseball card. And uh, no, really, he does love baseball, and he's a heck of a baseball player. I'm surprised. So uh, not surprised, but, you know, watching him play his first game, he's pretty much all over the place. Like a one-man team, just loves baseball. He's got his brothers, brothers that he plays with, so... 
I think that's what made them so good. So uh, that's the mojo of all mojos right there, boys. So on that, guys have a good week, and hopefully we can be back at you on Wednesday with another uh, another mail day. So uh, for Joey, the jackhammer, see ya.